Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be showing you guys a recipe of my own. Um, we just call it sausage pasta. That's kind of what Donnie and I have just come up with over the years that I've been making it. Um, but I just wanted to say that before starting that um, this is just a recipe of my own and you guys can put any kind of spin on it that you want to, but I thought that you guys would like it. I know a lot of you have been asking for this recipe for like years now, so here we go. Let's get started. So for this recipe, you're gonna need a pound of sausage. I get the Jimmy Dean regular, but it works well with the Italian sausage as well. Um, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and then a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes with Italian seasoning. You're gonna need one cup of heavy whipping cream, and then an entire box of bow tie pasta. And we like to eat ours with garlic bread, so that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm starting out by preheating my oven to 350 for the garlic bread, so that way that can warm up while I'm getting everything else started. Then I'm going to get out a pan for cooking the sausage and the sauce and a pot to boil the water to cook my noodles in. And then you're just going to get your water boiling first thing before you start cooking anything else just to time it all right. Once your water is boiling, you can dump in that whole box of bow tie pasta. And then that's when I get out my cookie sheet. I open up my garlic bread and put it out and pop that in the oven. And then I will start cooking my sausage. Once your sausage is browned and cooked all the way through, that's when you're going to add in all of your jars of tomatoes, cans of tomatoes I guess I should say. And I've been getting a lot of questions about my can opener, so I will try to find that online and link it down below for you guys. And um, We got it as a wedding gift like six years ago, so I will try and find that. But you're just going to add in those crushed tomatoes and then your diced tomatoes with the juices and everything in there. And I let the tomatoes and the sausage simmer for just a couple minutes while I pull the garlic bread out of the oven and I strain the noodles. Because as you can see on my timer at this point, there's just about one minute left on the bread, which means the noodles are done as well because it's about the same cooking time for both. See the paper bags on the floor over there? That would be Miss Berkeley entertaining herself while I'm cooking dinner, <laughs> but Donnie's home now to watch her. So now I'm going to add in my one cup of heavy whipping cream and I usually add in half a cup at a time just to stir it in. Just because I want to get the color right, um, it always ends up being about one cup, but that's why I did half a cup at a time in case you are wondering. So I'm going to stir that in, let it simmer just a little bit, maybe like one minute and then I'm gonna grab those noodles and I'm going to mix them all in. It's usually kind of a struggle to <laughs> mix them all in just because the size of my pan that I used. Um, but if you wanna cook your sauce in like a big pot, it might work out a little bit better. I just never really think to do that until watching it back <laughs> while I'm editing this video. make sure that the sauce and the noodles are mixed up nicely and then you can dish up. This is a meal that my kids love, I love. Donnie says it is his most favorite thing that I cook which is pretty cool because it's one of my own recipes. Um, but yeah, we all love it so please let me know if you guys try it or if you're excited to try it and let me know what you guys think. 
Also, just a little side note, forgot to mention in the beginning, but we like to put Parmesan cheese on top of ours, so totally optional, but it is delicious. So now that dinner is done and out of the way, I'm gonna get this messy little baby all cleaned up, even though she hates getting washed so much after dinner, she hates it. But I'm gonna get her cleaned up, I'm gonna get Donnie's leftovers packed up for his lunch tomorrow, and then I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. That is it you guys please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this cook and clean with me I'm enjoying doing these for you guys so it would be awesome to know if you guys are enjoying it as well um, but like I said before let me know if you try this recipe let me know what you guys think and I will see you in my next video bye